Nicole here for Netbook News at Computex 2009. I'm joined by Bob Morris from Arm. How are you today? I'm doing good. Good. Doing real good. Yesterday we saw some exciting news about the NVIDIA Tegra platform and Arm is all about it. Now, it's pretty exciting. Now, can you tell me what exactly is going on? Well, let me see. Uh, the, the, the guys over at uh, NVIDIA have come out with a wonderful part a year ago and, to, and that's a show. Uh, this year they showed it, uh, they really stepped it up by showing the types of companies they're doing it. So they showed the, uh, the Tegra um, device uh, running in a number of uh, um, netbooks. They showed operator connection. They showed what they could do with video. A whole bunch of different things that are going to enable some very world-class devices. What uh, um, uh, NVIDIA brings to the party is they're using our ARM 11 MP core in the device along with stunning graphics. And it's the graphics in this system that really makes it stand out from the others. Yeah. Very excited to see ARM moving into the netbooks arena. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very familiar with what you guys are, were doing within the smartphone and feature phone handset yeah. range. Now, when, when, you're, when you're looking at this new and exciting ecosystem, where are you seeing ARM coming up? Okay, ARM's coming up in a lot of areas where people then recognize ARM's background in the, uh, in the area of having devices that are extremely low power. So most people today recognize that they can, they can take their mobile handset, their smartphones, and be able to have all day use, be able to take them with them anywhere, to get their email and do that. Coupling in that, the ability to have full HD uh, content and the, the ability to be connected anytime, anywhere. You've, you've got a, a very nice combination that's going to be able to go into the devices that the consumer is looking for, which is a device that can in, uh, surf the internet well, be able to do email, and be able to enjoy full HD content. Most of our partners will be able to uh, deliver in our, the netbooks that we're seeing, uh, the ability to do over eight hours of uh, web surfing on a single battery charge or running three HD movies, which I think is going to be a very good value proposition for the user. Absolutely. Now, what's next for ARM? <laughs> okay, what's next? <laughs> what's next? Well, the, 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 probably the short term here is getting the products out to market. I, you're seeing a number of our partners, and we're, we're still on track here to see probably anywhere from uh, four to six of these in the channel uh, by Christmas. Uh, next year, there's going to be a flurry of other systems that are out there. So when people think of ARM, it's, uh, um, they look at us as like one company, but really what we do is we, we develop um, IP that's then used by a number of companies. So it's Texas Instruments, it's Samsung, TI, Qualcomm, Marvell, NVIDIA, Broadcom, it goes on and on. And so, so there's a, um, a, a number of our partners then are able then to take, get products out and develop things that are unique for the user. So this gives innovation, gives the ability to have differentiation, which is something that in the, uh, it's not used to really in the PC industry. And it's going to be able to give uh, people then a real true choice and innovative things like um, that have come out recently, like in an iPhone or what's going out with G Phone, could now be applied to the computing space. So next year, you're going to also start seeing ARM's performance come up in processor cores into even new and higher levels where you'll see multi core systems coming out. Hmm. Well, Bob, it seems that ARM has a lot going on, and we're definitely going to be keeping an eye on you for what's coming up in the short term and the long term. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And I'm Nicole from Netbook News.